Welcome. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to simulate flags. We begin by driving a rectangle for the flag. We then group it and assign it a cloth type. We then access the cloth menu and uh, apply it a grid, say a grid with, three sp uh, with a spacing of 3 centimeters. And now we create pins at the corners. And uh, adjust properties of the flag. Here you want the flag to have soft collision enabled, drag enabled, and for the density we want it to be uh, a small value, say 150, and shear stiffness should be 1.0, damper should be also a small value. Yeah, 0 .0 0.1 is fine, and uh, everything else is fine. In the simulation tab we want to turn off viscosity entirely, and uh, add some wind in the x axis. Say, let's make it should be a small value because because the flux density is really small. Uh, a small wind velocity is fine to affect the flag. If we press play. There. Now we can also apply texture to the flag. We can do it either after simulation or or before simulation, doesn't matter. But just for the view, let's first apply a flag or uh, a texture. Let's see patterns. And let's use this texture. Where is it? Uh, And apply to both sides. Let's make it small. Uh, this looks this looks fine. And let's see how it goes. Now, of course, the uh, performance is a little poorer. We can, of course. Disable the dynamic UV updating. This will uh, have the UVs reset at the end of the simulation. So if I press stop, the UVs will update afterwards rather than updating every frame. Now, of course, we can play again. And uh, once we find a good stopping point, we can press stop and press it to applying smoothing. Here I just uh, turned off the enabled the monochrome mode to so that we see the faces better. Okay, this particular flag. Over here it looks fine. So if you apply loop subdivision over here, and of course if you apply loop subdivision, the texture is preserved. So here I enable the texture. This is the original flag right here, and this is the new flag. And as you can see, the texture is preserved. And uh, applying thermal those rounded corners, we apply, we follow with Laplace and smoothing. There. Now that we have a flag and we can turn off the pins layer. And this is how the final flag looks. Of course, if you want to change the texture, we can always uh, undrape it and apply different texture. Let's say we want to apply something from our files. Let's see. Yeah, it's too small, but you can increase it. Let's uh, make it one. Uh, Sixty. Seventy should be good. It's upside down. Okay, this side's not upside down, which is good. Yeah. 
let's make it a little larger, 72. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, I guess 60, 68 should work. This looks a little more equal on both sides. And then we press the second again. There we have the dip flag. Thanks for watching and see you next time.